Linda J. Wachner. Linda Joy Wachner, born February 3, 1946, is an American businesswoman. She was president and CEO of Warnocko Group, Inc. from 1986 to 2001. She began her career as a buyer for department stores, including Foley's and Macy's. Biography Born to a Jewish family in New York City and raised in Queens, New York, the daughter of Shirley and Herman Wachner. Her father was a fur salesman, and her mother worked as a sales associate at Saks Fifth Avenue. In 1966, Wachner graduated with a B.A. in Business Administration from the University of Buffalo. After school, she held a succession of jobs, first working for the Associated Merchandising Corporation, the New York City buying arm of Federated Department Stores, then as an assistant buyer at Foley's Department Store in Houston and then as the bra and girdle buyer at Macy's in New York City. In 1974, she then took a marketing job at Warnocko and soon became a vice president, the company's first. In 1978, she went to work for Norton Simon tasked with turning around the money-losing U.S. division of Max Factor. In her second year, the division reported a $5 million profit. Max Factor was purchased by S. Mark in 1983, and then after being purchased by Beatrice Foods in 1984, Wachner raised $280 million and tried to buy the company. Beatrice rejected her offer. In 1986, hearing that Warnocko CEO Robert Matura wanted to take the company private, she partnered with Los Angeles investor Andrew Galoff and offered $36 a share for the company. Although a bidding war broke out with competing bidder Matura, Wachner and Galef ultimately won the bid paying $46.50 a share or $550 million of which $500 million was borrowed via Drexel Burnham Lambert. Wachner effectively took control of the company becoming at the time the only female CEO of a Fortune 500 industrial company. In October 1991, Warnocko went public. She shrunk the business, selling off money losing lines to focus on two divisions, intimate apparel and menswear. During this time, Warnocko had licensing agreements in menswear with Speedo, Calvin Klein, Christian Dior Hathaway, chaps by Ralph Lauren and Jack Nicklaus, and in intimate apparel with Valentino, Ungaro, Scassi, Bob Mackey, Fruit of the Loom, and Victoria's Secret. In 1990, Wachner sold 95% of its active wear division, which included Speedo bathing suits for $85 million to a management group led by Wachner and several other Warnocko executives. In 1992, the company, renamed Authentic Fitness, went public. In 1999, Warnocko required Authentic Fitness for $504,414,000,000 million in cash and $120 million in the assumption of debt. In 2000, Calvin Klein, Inc., sued both Warnocko and Wachner individually for trademark violations, breach of fiduciary duty, and breach of contract. The lawsuit stemmed from Warnocko selling Calvin Klein branded jeans and underwear to warehouse clubs such as Costco and BJ Wholesale Club, which Klein contended devalued his brand name. Warnocko responded by saying that Klein had known of the sales to warehouse clubs all along and that he had failed to participate in meetings about the design of Warnocko's Calvin Klein clothing. The lawsuit was settled in 2001. Although the terms of the settlement were not publicly revealed, the New York Times reported that Warnocko would retain its license for Calvin Klein jeanswear but would have to limit its sales of such jeans to warehouse clubs and mass merchandisers while Klein or his design team would have the right to approve changes in cut and material, but would have to respond quickly to Warnocko's claim. Warnocko filed for bankruptcy protection on June 11, 2001. In November of that year, Wachner left her position as chief executive of Warnocko, but continued to provide transition assistance during the company's bankruptcy. Wachner's contract, which would otherwise have entitled her to a payment of $43.06 million on termination, had been voided as a result of the bankruptcy. Other
In 1993, Fortune magazine listed Wachner among the seven roughest, toughest, most intimidating bosses. Also on the list were T.J. Rogers of Suppressed Semiconductor, Steve Jobs of Next Computer, Herbert Haft of Dart Group, and Harvey and Bob Weinstein of Miramax Films. In 1996, Wachner was reported to be the highest paid female corporate executive in the United States. Personal Life In 1973, she married Seymour Appelbaum, who was 31 years her senior. He died in 1983. They did not have any children. Equals equals references equals equals equals. <laughs>